guys! So today I'm back with another seasonal outfit planning video. Today obviously I'm going to talk about spring. Um, I also made an autumnal one of these which I'll link across the top here if you want to go watch that. Um, so today I'm going to be talking about what outfits I'm going to wear, what pieces I'm hoping to buy uh, and also work with what I've already got in my wardrobe to show you what you'll be seeing on me this spring. First up, florals. I'm actually wearing a floral top right now to get us in the spring mood. It trends, and I have lots of floral pieces in my wardrobe. Some of my favourite floral pieces are my dresses. This beautiful tea dress which I got last year from ASOS is one of my favourite ever floral pieces. Along with this one from Shein which, I could, which is still available so I'll link it down below. I actually wore this on Valentine's Day. These two floral pieces will look so cute as we go into the spring months. This, is, this one is more for nighttime wear, worn with heels. This one could be dressed down or dressed up. I dressed up with heels on Valentine's Day, but I could also wear it with boots or sandals for a more chilled out spring look. Sticking with dresses, day dresses are one of my favourite things to wear come springtime. This white one is a great example, as it's floral, lace, and just summery enough to carry it into the summer months. The bell sleeves are so gorgeous and a detail that we saw so much last year. I'm sure this will be back in this spring summer, so I can't wait to wear this again. This is an example of a dress that can be styled with tights and boots as well. Even though it does look quite summery, if you put a jacket over the top, you wouldn't be able to see that it was really off the shoulder. Um, so it can be styled in many different ways, as it is really just a basic white summer dress. As well as dresses, another great way to look feminine and pretty this spring is to wear skirts, which I'll definitely be wearing lots of. I'm wearing this mini skirt right now, which is cord and pink, and it's got heart-shaped pockets. I love it so much, and I'll definitely be wearing other pink cord skirts, if I can find any, uh, because I love cord, I think it's such a versatile trend, and pink, obviously, it reminds me of spring, but it's also my favourite colour. As well as mini skirts, which is my typical go-to, um, I've also discovered my love for midi skirts. This one is my current favourite, this long pink satin number, which you would have seen in my latest latest videos and blog posts and Instagram posts, and it's <laughs> my favourite go-to outfit at the moment. I think it's so pretty. I could wear this skirt with the top I'm wearing right now, but it could also be styled down with a jumper and boots, or styled up with an evening, styled up for the evening with heels. It's so pretty and so classy and because of its swirly whimsical nature it really does remind me of spring. As well as skirts I've decided this spring I'm going to try trousers. I've been searching for my perfect pair of trousers for so long but because I'm so petite I found it really hard to find them. I was in Zara the other day in London when I found this gorgeous white pair of wide leg trousers. They're so, so beautiful and I honestly cannot wait to wear them. I'm planning to pair them with this pale pink knitted top from Zara with pearl details along the, along the wrist. Pearls are a trend which are not going anywhere anytime soon so we definitely need to include them in our spring wardrobes. I'm also in love with this beautiful pearl jumper which you'll definitely be seeing more of as we move into spring. Jumpers and knitted tops are definitely the way to go this spring as they keep you warm but also look stylish. This one is short sleeved, proving they don't need to be long sleeved to be knitted. They can be short sleeved which means you can move into summer with these as we get into the warmer spring months. I mean I can't see that happening anytime soon in Britain but you never know. I actually bought this in pink and white. The pink would obviously go in with more neutral skirts but white could be worn with a multitude of different colours so this will be really versatile. I'd say to invest in a light coloured coat like I have with this pink one from H&M. The scalloped edge is so pretty and makes it really unique. I could toss this on on top of a either cold or warm outfit depending on what the weather is like and it will look so stylish. It will keep me warm but it's not too thick so as we get into the warmer months of spring I can still wear it. For shoes, I can't recommend getting a pair of ankle boots enough. This nude pair is great for spring so it will fit a more neutral lighter wardrobe compared to black Chelsea boots. Though black Chelsea boots and black tights can still look really pretty underneath day dresses. I love this pair because of the tie detail at the back. They really remind me of the Stuart Weitzman boots and I feel like they look so high-end even though they were, they were such a bargain. 
Um, for bags, I'm going to invest in lighter coloured ones, maybe with a bit of floral detail on them, as I'm really looking for a go-to everyday bag at the minute. As spring moves on, I'm more likely to invest in more sandals, slip-on shoes, and more summery shoes, because obviously you don't really want to wear boots into April and May. About outfits, which maybe I haven't invested in yet, um, looking for more trousers, maybe some cigarette-style trousers, more tops and blouses, I'm always looking for those, um, sticking to pastel colours mainly, though there is a bright colours trend so maybe if I'm feeling adventurous I might go there. Other trends include ruffles and fringe and I'm really excited to see how they come into our shops. I'll definitely be resting in them if they come in the really pretty, aesthetically pleasing girly style. I really hope you enjoyed this video guys, sorry it's been so short, um, but I haven't really managed to invest in many spring items yet, so I will update you as we go forward. You make sure you follow my blog, Instagram, Twitter, they're all linked down below to keep up to date with what I'm wearing, and remember that you can shop all my outfits with the Like to Know app. If you'd like to know more about that app, I will make a video on it, so like this video or comment down below telling me what, if you would like to see that. If you did like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to see more of this face. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye!